Do whatever. Where's my shit? Hi. Is this recording? Leeches, I've pressed good leeches today. Cabbages, get your cabbages here. Donuts, get your donuts. Fresh glazed every morning. Okay, I go, I go looking for fucking. I go looking for some meat, some good dark Tagdrian meat. Yeah. You're looking for Tagdrian style because you can find that in a lot of places. But if you're looking for actual like rhino meat, no, that's not rhino. At all. It's like actually like a Sarabian buffalo, probably some kind of buffalo up there. But not many people live in that place because it's horrible, flat, and dry. So. Welcome to the savannah. You're gonna die here. <laughs> yeah. You actually find an authentic tag train dealer of uh, authentic tag train goods. All right. It's like pure one imports, but for tag train shit. Okay. A lot of it is tat. But there's some good shit here too. And more specifically, exactly what you're looking for. Eat that shawarma. I don't know how to do a tag green accent, so I'm not even really going to try. Oh, I'm afraid it would be super racist and you would get more. more did you hear the voice you just did for Ratchet? <laughs> Whatever the fuck his name is. I was. made him a white crack dealer. That's not racist. You still use Ebonics. You also did not actually say he was white. No. I think you mentioned an afro. <clears throat> He didn't mention an afro, but he did not explain. He did not say the I, character's skin tone at all. I imagined an afro when he pulled the joint out from mm, his ear. Mm, so did I. He has a jufro at most. All right. And Dex allowed to use those because of his own hair. I'm not because look at my fucking head. I no. can make ball jokes. I can think about Kumo from high school. Dear God, I'm going to. If there's a hell. <laughs> I'm going there for Kumo. Yeah. Kumo was pretty bad, even for us. Yeah, I was emulating you guys' style of humor at the time, talking. but it was still pretty awful by any rubric. Which I think is why I did it. I think I was just like, dear God, why are we doing this? Well, it was good. I, I, enjo I enjoyed it. You did not, and you're not going to give me a high five for this. Oh, that was that was, Oh, that's what that was for. Your hand's probably covered in weed, though. Just covered in weed. <laughs> I'm good. Miss, I'll miss. Aren't you also, like, ridiculously tall, too? Yes. Okay. I'm, like, six, seven, or something. I'll just remain seated. <laughs> I'm, like, yeah, I'm, like, Brianna Tarth tall. Well, hello, fair lady. Hello. Would you like to peruse my wares? All of them authentic. Mm. Doesn't seem to be much to peruse, but you have a lot of what I'm looking for. Ah, oh, yes, my fine cured meats. Mm. All of them important. <laughs> the ones I got from the sewer. <laughs> Domestically grown buffalo can only be grained from Arya's sewers. <laughs> they live down there. I'm mean, Considering what the Black Blade fins. probably do in Aria's sewers, I wouldn't be fucking surprised. They've turned albino-grown fins and have a third eye in the center of their skull, but they are still <laughs> buffalo, technically. From a legal standpoint. Entirely legal to sell it as buffalo, as long as the courts have ruled that it still is, no matter how much it's learned to talk. <laughs> I'm gonna buy a thing of the buffalo and another thing for him. Okay. Um, he wakes up. He lists a price. It's pocket change. Yeah. Let me get a couple. And uh, hopefully all of the second one will make it back to him while I stroll around town. It may not, but that's what we're going to aim for. Yeah. Um, he... They are just like literal cured hawks of me, so he takes it down and, and does the like Publix deli thing of like shearing off chunks of it. There you go. Good to always see someone from the homelands. <laughs> because this is a Tagrian accent. <laughs> this is one aspect that this NPC might or might not have. Cleave! Crazy Cleveland Clarkston. He cleaves the prices. And the great Tagrian imports. Authentic Tagrian imports. <laughs> Only <laughs> ones in the market because the rest of them have been made into authentic Tagrian imports. <laughs> What were we doing? I don't. Beef. You were just getting beef jerky. I am just getting beef jerky. 
you have gotten your beef jerky. Yay. It is spiced to your specifications. Bitchin'. I'm gonna go walk around Arya and see what kind of trouble I can get into. There are plenty of street fights. I mean, none of them super lethal or anything. Like the most raucous ones, they pull daggers. You find one, no problem. You are in the market of Arya. Then I want to draw my, my sword and be like... They do not have much power. They are Illidan there, but they... Vandir and Sistona probably have some sort of arrangement for services to Sistona. Thank you. That's where they send all the fat, lazy retirees. <laughs> yeah, I want to like tap it against the ground or something and try to make some noise and get their attention. Um, I'd put those down if I were you. <clears throat> no need for this to get bloody. There's plenty for it to get bloody, sweetheart. It's your ass wipe, right? It's your ass wipe just stole 30 silver. Please tell me the ass wipe stabs him while he's bothering to talk. He tries. <laughs> and what does the asswife have to say about these allegations? Clearly I am innocent, he says, not at all hastily putting a um, coin purse uh, in his pocket or whatever. So if both of you could drop your knives on the ground, then we can approach this like civilized people. Lady, you ain't yelling, and even if you were, we wouldn't bother to listen to you. Oh, of course you wouldn't, but the thing is, I'm not Illidan. Uh, actually, the one guy who totally did not steal the silver did actually just manage <coughs> to stab the other guy. It's it's a grazing blow, but judging by the state of that knife, that's it's totally going to be infected. <laughs> I'm jumping in and attacking that guy. I'm gonna get just, just just pissed at this guy, and so I'm gonna come in and like deck him with the thing, grab him, and then just push him into the wall or something, and just got him, got him, you know, and like pull him back down and throw him on the ground. God, 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 God. Put a patch on that. And I want to take the other guy and say, "Come on, we need to get you <coughs> stitched up." Yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. He, before he goes anywhere with you, he just grabs um, the the belt pouch that the guy put the money bag in. Right. And he's like, alright, come on. Where'd you learn to fight like that? He stayed pinned up for a few too many decades. I have anger issues. Noted. Sure as hell, you're sure as hell I have a lot more effective than the other then. Well, I have a bit of stature and experience on my side. Where do you take the guy? Somewhere to get healed. Honestly, the nearest place that you could get some reliable medical mm -hmm. materials to wash out an infection that hasn't set in yet would probably just go get some, like, rum or something. <laughs> just pour Alright, well, I'm gonna drag this bleeding fuck to a bar. Alright. Yes. The musky what? Badger. Ox. No, wait, that was too obvious. No, not an ox. Also too obvious. Dolphin. The musky dolphin. <laughs> the musky dolphin. I have no musky dolphin. I mean, they're a seaport, and this is Aria, which is like wall <coughs> for evil exemplified. <coughs> I imagine that they fish specifically for dolphin here. <laughs> no, How just... smart they is makes you taste better. Yeah. The only other thing I've got is the musky manatee. They're, 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 in, they're intelligent and beautiful and rapists, just like the Diverni. So in yes. scientific parlance, their species name is Desario Maxima. <laughs> <laughs> what did Desario Maximo mean to Duran? Desario was a mas master of disguise who wandered about in Duvern, pretending to be old women, occasionally having sex with old men, not telling them who he was, stabbing things, and generally being a distraction that was causing issues with the plot. I remember very little about the character other than the fact that people seemed to dislike the fact that his default disguise, despite the fact that he was a young and apparently somewhat effeminate looking Duverny man, his default disguise was an elderly woman. And he would use any means necessary to get his information, including sexual shenanigans of a nature that apparently I thought were funny at the time. 
or just interesting. I don't remember his quest. <coughs> was it to but... find the Muir? What was the Muir or whatever? It was a big furry horse-headed snake that increased fertility in the region it was in. Not of people, but of the land. It was a big furry horse-headed snake that makes the places it goes through fertile is what it was. Because that's what I came up with at the time, because I should not have been running that night. I have I have no idea what my opinion of it is right now. Right now I'm having trouble getting past the fact that Joe is recording me as I attempt to remember one of my many, many, okay. many failures.